Hi there guys and welcome to the UFC 267 predictions video. It's a stacked card. If you look to the Twitter, we will be doing the entire card with predictions, but just for this video, we'll be doing the main card only. So the curtain raiser itself is Magomed Angolaya versus Vulcan Ozdemir. Now, Ozdemir is no slouch. He's a terrific MMA fighter. However, there are tears, there are breeds, there are animals, and Magomed Ankalaev is he's just a trade. I he has one loss in his career from a split like a last second in the third round. I believe it was from Paul Craig. He hit him with like a, a triangle choke, I think it was. It was like in 2018, it was a very long time ago. In fairness, if you rewatch the footage, he probably could have just held on that extra second, but with him not knowing how long he's left, that is the only blemish on his career. On his card, should I say. I can see Magomed Angolaev going through Ozdemir, taking him down, ground and pound. That's the way I believe this fight will end. This is where it gets spicy. We've got Hamzat Shemaev returning after about a 14, 15 month layoff versus uh, Li Jingliang. My head straight away went to Chimaev. I'm on the Chimaev train. I smash you, brother. He's, a, he's just quality. He's, oh, he does everything he needs to do in the cage in the allotted time. Doesn't do anything more, does everything he needs to do. But he's not been challenged yet. And Jing Liang is a very, very good stand up guy. I don't think Chimaev should stand up with him. I think he, what he should do is take him down, wear him down, grind him out, go for his submission, possibly get a TKO win if he's doing the ground and pound. But then we had issues with a weight cut. And they suffered from COVID before. We don't know if they could be entwined in any way. We don't know how he's going to react after the first round, after the second round, leading into the third. So I think Chimaev's game plan will be to end this early. But, as I said, Jing Liang has never been finished by strikes, whether it's on the ground or in the air. Well, on the ground or on his feet, should I say. Ah. Uh, this is it's going to be mad it's going to be a crazy crazy fight but i i am leaning towards my heart and that is leaning towards hamzat chimaev by a tko or submission victory this i believe could be the fight of the night actually believe it or not i think it's got action written all over i don't think it'll be at all quiet in terms of pace in terms of power i think it'll be an absolute slugfest um we've got volkov taking on tibura and i believe tibura is on a four fight win streak five fight win streak and he's active which is very very you know well then again looking at um, volkov right now that i am he's also active his last loss was to cyril Gan, who as we know is taking on Nganu for the world title in a, just a few short months away. Then his further loss before that was Ketch Blades, who is also top tier talent. Further loss before that, Derek Lewis can punch like a Mack truck. Um, and then you have to go all the way back to 2015 for his loss to Chuck Congo. But that being said, he's six foot seven. He's got a big reach advantage, as you can see from what is on your screen. I say big, it's two inches. Who wouldn't like two more? Anyway, let's go. I'm going to go with the underdog here. I'm going to go with Tabura. I feel like he's on a momentum. I feel like he's got something to prove. So that's what I'm going with. I'm going for Marcin Tabura via TKO. Or a points victory. We are now moving into. I I sort of class this as like a co co main event. This is like the third fight from the finish. Hangman Hunker. What what can he do? He gets on a plane, as you all know, from New Zealand to the United States. He cuts weight on the plane within a day or some shit, and then makes weight. And then he stays over there to get another fight. That fight sort of collapses. Then he's got this one, and then. He's, he's just, he's a machine. But speaking of machines, we have <laughs> Islam Makachev, who, he, he, they all say it. They all say it in AKA, he is better than Habib. 
and Habib wasn't, you know, he went bad. Well, he was possibly the greatest of all time in terms of lightweights. Um, Hangman has one chance. And that is first round, blitzing him with a TKO. But I don't think it'll happen. I truly do. I think Islam Makhachev is going to wear him down. He's going to take him to the ground. He's going to be super strong, super heavy with his hips. Positioning really well, just like all Dagestanis do. And I think, depending on how this turns out, how the next tier of lightweights go in terms of you've got Oliveira, Poirier, then you've got Chandler Gaethje. Then you've got Tony Ferguson lying down like a bit lower. And then you've got Conor who's supposedly coming back. You're not going to book Conor against Islam Makachev. That is a ridiculous fight for Conor. I think we might see Islam Makachev versus the loser of Gaethje Chandler. And then after that, potentially get the title fight depending on who is the champion. But just to summarise, I've gone Islam by a is he gonna finish him what did i say originally i can't even remember what i said originally um i'm gonna go with i'm gonna go with a finish submission or tko i think it's gonna be on the ground either way so that's what we're gonna go with moving on to the current main event we have Piotr Jan versus Corey Sandhagen in my opinion Sandhagen beat TJ Dillashaw I wouldn't say cleanly, but he did beat him cleanly. But um, in my opinion, it was a unanimous decision. I don't think it should have been split. Um, um, Piotr Jan, obviously, in my opinion, was going to beat Sterling. But we know how that fight ended. Now, my head is thinking Piotr Jan because we haven't seen anyone with that type of aggression for years. Um, just that mentality to just drive forward no matter what however i'm thinking sandhagen here i think that loss for sandhagen made him wake if you know what i mean woke him up brought him to the realization that he needs to finish these fights he needs to be sure and not let them go to the judges however i do probably think this is probably going to go to the judges there was a lot of problems there I'm going to go Corey Sandhagen by TKO points. And then during the stream, we'll pick which one we're going to go with to finalize. I think Sandhagen's going to do this. Um, I think we'll see Sandhagen versus Sterling. And then I want to see, really want to see, Peter Yan versus TJ Dillashaw. Now we have the main event, which is Jamble Hervich versus. Glover Tejera and what I find odd about this more than anything is Yamlohovic's last five fights were against middleweights moving up which is super weird um, and Glover's not the he's not a small guy Glover's big 6'2 same height but he's bigger he's wider he's heavier and we know how Jan Tret is he. It was all about weight. And I think that might come into play here. I think unless Jan can starch him in the first round and a half, it's Glover's to lose. And I, I am personally going with Glover. I can see him getting a finish on the ground. I think once he's taken it to the ground, it's... I wouldn't say game over, but it's it's... A very much slimmer chance for Jan Blachowicz to get back up with, with with how good he is on the ground is Glover. He's absolute quality. Granted, he has more TKO wins than his submission wins, but it's his groundwork is great. It really is good. It's in fact, I'd say it's underrated. Um, and that's it. I'm gonna go with Glover. So we've got a few underdogs under there. Make sure you do check the live stream out. We will be streaming it. 
well not the actual event we'll be streaming my analysis my breakdown my in-play stuff which you can find at twitch.tv slash dan3 hit you don't forget to share the social medias as well insta twitter they're all the same slash dan3 hit you i will be posting everything on there i will also post a fight card with the crossed out contenders slash fighters that are going to be my pick for the weekend so be safe look after yourself and i'll see you soon don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button cheers guys